with the Johnny Appleseed Park District. I thought today it would be fun to do some origami. Origami is a traditional craft from Japan. They've been doing it since the 1600s. Ori means folding, kami means paper. So origami is all about folding paper into different shapes. You don't use scissors or glue. It's all about the folds of the paper. For those of you that purchased the camp kits, I put into your camp kit three traditional origami papers. They're thinner than typical paper, but if you didn't get the kit, no problem. Just find some paper and cut it into a square. And that's what we're going to use. I'm going to show you today how to make a very simple origami fish, a little bit more difficult origami fish, and online you can find instructions for even more elaborate fish. I tried this one. Its tail is a little funky. It gets hard to actually do. So, check out the websites if you want to find something that's a little bit more difficult. But join me as I show you how to make two, whoops, two origami fish. Okay, we're going to start out first with this simple origami fish. Now, traditional origami paper actually has a white back and a colored other side. So we're going to start out with the colored side up, folding it so that the white side folds up. You're going to fold it in half. And in or origami, you want to make sure that your folds are real tight and creased. Open it up, turn it, and fold it again in half. So now you can see, hopefully, the fold lines. We're going to flip it over so the white side is up. And now take one corner and fold it up to the other corner, making good creases. And then turn it and fold the other two corners together. Okay, and now you've got, well, let's see. One, two, three, four lines all meeting in the center. Take the two edges, fold them together, and then down. And you're going to end up with a triangle. Let me show you that again. Put your fingers on the two edges, bring them together, push them down, and fold the top down, just like that. Take one of the edges, fold it down, crease in it, and then take the other edge and fold that over. And you now have our first origami fish. Okay, we're going to try this origami fish. It's a little bit more difficult than the other one that we did. So we are going to start out by putting the white side up and making a fold to make a triangle. Remember to line up those edges real good and make nice creases. Then, taking one of the corners, we're going to go over as if you're making another fold. We're going to line up the edge and the corners. But instead of making a fold, we're just going to press down right here on the tip of the fold. 
so that when we open it, we can see exactly where the center of that fold is. From there, take the top corner and fold it down to the edge right in the center. All right, now we're going to take this corner and fold it down to the center of our fold. Like that. And do the same with the opposite side. This corner comes down to the center. Right, there we go. Turn it over. And now we're going to take this corner and bring it over towards the center. Just like that. This edge should line up with this edge. So it's one long continuous line. Bring this corner over to the center on this side as well. All right, there we go and then fold it over again. Now, we're gonna take this corner and bring it up to the center. And in this case, this edge will line up with this other edge. Take that and tuck it underneath this other piece of paper. Now we're going to take this corner and bring it over to the center, just like we did on the other side. All right. Now, that's pretty well done. There is one extra step that sometimes I have trouble doing, but we'll give it a try. This is the little fin that you just fold it over. And if you open it up, pull it out, there is a little pocket that's down inside here. The idea is to take that fold and tuck it inside the pocket. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this is one of those times I don't think it's going to work very well. <laughs> Okay, well, mine didn't quite work out right, but if you get it tucked inside there, it will look nice and even and clean. All right. Hey campers, thanks for joining me today. Have fun trying to make some origami fish. Make sure to post photos of what you were able to do today. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!